Hi, this is Brad, sharpensbest.com. People ask me, how would you sharpen uh, like an axe head uh, or an axe? Uh, I'm going to use an axe head this time because um, I found in a hawk shop uh, an axe head. It's an old one. Uh, it's a single bitted axe. You got this is right side up. You got the curvature down here to protect the handle, okay? And if you don't have the curvature as you split, you can come in and hit the handle easier. So they're always more curved on the bottom than they are the top. This is an old one. I give three dollars for it. Um, it was actually a really good find. Uh, it's in really good shape. It, it's not exactly sharp. Um, it's kind of sharp, but it's really rusty and everything. And they say, how would you sharpen something like that? Well, I'm just going to show you today how I would sharpen it, and i just tell you the absolute truth. Uh, this is probably sharp enough that I could go after it with my sharpened spark with a little bit of a handle on it, you know, and that would that would work pretty good, work pretty fast. But to be truthful with you, even if I'm out here in the woods, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools. So why do I use a work sharp uh, belt sander? It's real simple. It's fast, it's easy, it's effective. Um, I can shape the blade quicker and easier if I actually have a little belt sander, you know, to use. And the work sharp is really good. The only thing I'm going to do, work sharp is going to go, what? Okay, there was a guard on here that had some bevel angle degree slots in it. I don't happen to like that. And if you're not real careful, when you stick your knife in there or something, uh, and, you, and the knife isn't moving, it'll eat a half inch wide uh, slot right in the blade if you don't have it moving when you go in there. So I take it off, throw it away. Then I can use the tip, I can use the belt in many different ways. And um, of course I would never stick the ax in the bevel and try to do this, all right? And uh, I don't know, it looks like we got a power tree here. Um, you should be able to just plug in out in the woods when you're out there, you know, and get a, a good source of power. Alright, the belt is now turning, you can hear the motor. Alright, now with the guard on there, there's a lot of things you can't do with the guard off of there. It's real simple to hold the axe head like this and actually just run along. And let's, let's show you, especially on the other side, I haven't touched it yet. See how it's all rusty? Now, I only ran it across there twice. See how this is already starting to shine up? So what I would do is I would just hold it like this. You can hold it about any way you want to. And I just go along like this. And I reshape, sharpen, take the rough off. Take some of the rust off. Okay, now let's turn it over and do the exact same thing, just like this. It's real simple to sharpen. These belts last for an incredibly long time. It's amazing how long one of these little belts will last. Yeah, we just run down through there like that. Okay, I've kind of reshaped it. Now I'm going to turn it over, but I'm not going to turn it this way and go lengthways with it. I'm going to turn it like this so that the belt is actually turning this way down and it cuts into the blade. So if you do it like this, that drags the steel out away from the blade. If I turn it over and do it like this now, like that, I actually cut the little burr that was sticking out off over the blade. And it's going to need a little bit more because I can still see some uh, of the edge. So let's work on it for just a minute. That's getting better. Now I'll do the same thing on this side. All right. Now, and that's fairly sharp, but I would take my long handle sharpener, turn it like this, and start brushing the blade like this, right on down, matching the bevel, just like that. Turn it about 45 and brush only on the corners there's a corner there's a corner 90 degree corners brush the blade don't dig at it roll it over and come back this way that way turn it over do the same thing here right now I'm real and I'm actually flipping it going both directions no wasted motion and then touch it real light put this back in your pocket and don't set it down you'll lose it now I grab a piece of paper here 
we pick it up, seven of them come with it. Now, this is the first time I have absolutely no idea. Well, I do have some idea, of course I do. Uh, just exactly how this is going to cut. But I, I don't fake anything, phony it up or anything else. Oops, we tore it. If it'll tear, it'll cut. You just got to work on it a little bit. That's pretty sharp. Unless you're in competition cutting and things like that, I don't think you want your axe much sharper than that because you're going to have it so thin that it'll uh, roll the edge easy and it'll nick easy. Now, here's something else that we do all the time, us guys that are sharpening. Touch. And I'm not pushing very hard at all. The fact is, I'm, I'm not letting the full weight of the axe head sit on my thumbnail. And you can see there's definitely thumbnail there. So that's how I'd tune up an axe head. You go, you pay three dollars, you give five, six, seven dollars for a handle, put the two together, you got a ten dollar axe that would have cost you thirty, thirty-five, forty dollars. This is BradSharpensBest.com. Oh, and by the way, my power tree. Well, everything is sort of an illusion. It's called a motorcycle battery and an inverter. That way I can go out wherever I want to and I can have electricity to a certain extent. This is Brad. Take care and have a good day. Bye.